Hello and welcome back to Gourmet Leftovers. Today we're going to be making three baked sweet potatoes. This is a recipe that I just kind of threw together years ago and went over really well at a couple of Christmas parties. And ever since then all my friends keep asking me to make it. So we're going to start off with uh, equal parts sweet potato and then just any regular potato you like, russets. These are just some British baking potatoes. And we're going to cut those up and then I usually steam them. You can boil them obviously if you want to. Just steam those until they get nice and soft. And then we'll throw those in a bowl here. To that we're going to add about 100 grams or a quarter cup of butter. This is going to make enough for about four or five people. I was just making a small batch this time. You could cut back on the butter a little bit if you want to make it a little healthier. And then you're going to put in about, about a teaspoon of Montreal steak spice to season it up. I should point out that the butter is unsalted. And then we're going to mash all that up there until it's well combined. By mixing in the regular potatoes it adds a little bit of extra starch and a little bit of uh, fluffiness to the potatoes where it would go rather flat or watery if it's just sweet potato on its own. So we're going to put this into a greased baking dish. Now if you're uh, ready to serve right away here, you can just throw the brie on top right away and pop it in the oven. But I've got uh, a few hours to go before it's dinner time, so I'm just going to pop this in the fridge. And now we're just going to cut all the wax off the outside of the, uh, not all of it, doesn't matter if you don't miss a little bit. Getting the wax off the outside of the brie is really good because uh, when you bake it, it kind of looks a little weird. I've tried with and without before and it's definitely better without the wax on it. But it becomes a nice snack with crackers for the chef. So I had to heat it up in the oven there because I had put it in the fridge for a little while. And now I've just put the brie on top to put back in the oven for a few minutes just to melt it a, lot, a little bit, give it a little bit of color. So after you've baked it until it's piping hot throughout and the cheese is golden brown. You can let it sit for about five or ten minutes and then serve it up. Like I said, this one always goes over really well at any kind of dinner party. And I always end up getting my friends asking me to make it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. And why don't you check out some of these other videos. And we'll see you next time.